All right, now I know I said that I had one more story that I wanted to share that was a little bit more on the bad side, kind of like sad, a little bit upsetting. I don't know, I might just, I'll keep it like really general, like I'll keep it very broad a bit. Yeah, I just like, I don't know if I should be sharing it, but I'll kind of like, I'll explain what happened and I'll try and keep it as general as possible. But basically, it's one of my nights when I, I'm a server, if you don't already know. I work at a beautiful restaurant. I absolutely love it there. I've been there for three years. It's a really great place to work. But you have good days and bad days. And unfortunately on Sunday, I did have a bad day, I would say. I just got sat with 16 top, they all had like different tables. So it was four, eight, 12, 16. So there's gonna be yeah, three different, four different tables, sorry, of four people. And they all got sat at once. And I was the only one serving them just cause they were in my section. I don't know, like it seems like it'd be easy, but then you like, they get sat and you have to go to the like the one table and you have to take their drink orders. And by the time you go, through all four tables and reach that last table. That first table, it has been like five, five, eight minutes. Like it's been a while. Like it takes time to do that. Introduce yourself, like take drink orders. Like it takes a while. So by the time I did that, they had all gotten drinks, but then there was also waters as well. Some people wanted ice, some people wanted no ice, some people wanted lemons. And it was just a lot to remember. Just off the top of my head. Sorry, one sec. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so it was a lot. And so basically I went to the back, I grabbed everything I could, I tried to remember as much as I could. I was doing my best to be as fast as I could. My tray was completely full, like maxed out with water. So I started dropping all the waters off and then just one of the tables had mentioned, our kids don't have waters yet. And like, I literally, like, I looked at them and I was just like, just the way they said it too, it was just kind of like, I know they don't have, like I, my tray was completely full. Like there was no, I, what do you want me to do? Bounce them on my head, but like. It, it was just kind of like, really? Did you not see? I was struggling first of all to put them down. It was just, it was extremely heavy. Right there and then I'm like, really? <laughs> Um, so that happened and then just with like the food orders and stuff There was a lot of parents lots of kids They were all at different tables and then I'd have some of the parents ordering for the kids and they'd be like Oh my kids gonna get um burgers with fries, but can we just do like this 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 they started listing a bunch of modifications on it And I was like Sure, like that's totally fine Like I was trying to be like as friendly as possible just cuz I don't know like I get it with like I don't know I was just trying to be like as nice as possible accommodating all that good stuff. But yeah, as I was saying, the parents were ordering for the kids, but they'd literally just be like, oh yeah, my kid's gonna have this. And I'm like, and they would all say this at the table. Oh, my kid's gonna have this. My kid's gonna have this. And I'm like, that's great, but I don't know who your kid is. Like, I, that doesn't mean anything to me. And so I kept trying to like, be like, okay, which kid is yours? Like I'm trying, I was trying to stay as organized as possible, but they just, it was so, it was just a lot. Ugh, just the kids, okay. So the kids, I love kids and I think that's why I love where I work so much because I do I get to serve like kids all the time like little babies come in they're amazing they're the cutest I just I love that part of my job but these kids oh my goodness okay so they came in and they were basically immediately yelling at me they wanted drinks they wanted pop after their parents told me they couldn't have pop they were yelling at me asking for like root beer sprites and i'm like your mom just said that you can't have that like do you want to just go maybe talk to her and see and like they were like no i want root beer and they were just like screaming at me and i was like okay like stop screaming at me and then they were asking for like coloring sheets with pens which we don't have we have like little magna doodles and so i was like sure like i'll grab you guys some like magna doodles or whatever so i brought those over to them and then this one kid just i i gave it to him he immediately he threw this thing he threw this back at me he started crying his mom was sitting there and she didn't say anything just the fact that he threw that back at me and just started crying like that it was just so i don't know i just felt so disrespected like don't be throwing stuff at your server who's like working like i understand he's a kid and he obviously like doesn't know but at the same time he was probably like seven between like seven eight i'm not very good at ages but he was just old enough and should have known that it wasn't right to do that. And so the mom was just like, oh, like we want like a coloring sheet and like a pen. And I'm like, 
I was just like, you know, whatever. So I went to a manager and I just kind of asked like, hey, do you mind like t touching this table? Like I just, I can't get through to them that we don't have that. I'm sure we have pen and paper, but our issue is we just like, we don't want marks all over our tables and stuff, which is fair enough. Like they would, they would have ruined those tables. <coughs> so eventually, they all kind of like settled down, but like they just wanted, they just kept, they were so demanding just all these tables and it was just a lot. Like it really, like I feel like I'm a pretty strong person and that really took a toll on me. Just that whole service, serving them. And even when the food came out, some stuff came out wrong, even though that's how they communicated it to me. And they were like, well, can you take care of this for us? And I'm like, ah, oh, it was just, the whole thing was just, so frustrating and so mentally draining. I didn't know how to like, I just needed to calm down because I put on such a smile for that party. I, oh, it was just like a lot to keep calm and not snap at anyone. And I did, like I smiled and you know, I was like, I tried to be as accommodating as I could. And I was so nice with them until they left. I was never like rude or anything snappy. I tried my best to like, I don't know, just be as nice as possible. And the good thing was with it was that I had a couple managers and they were, oh my gosh, they were amazing. They were so helpful just with like, payments and stuff. And that's another thing, the payments. Oh, okay, no, let me just like back up for a second. So, everyone wanted to pay. Now, as I said earlier, all these parents were ordering for their kids, so there's all these separate orders. And I was like, I was getting so confused. So, they asked for their payments, and so what I have to do basically is all these tables are on different sections and I can't just like easily transfer them over I have to like organize everything and it's hard to explain but it just it's not that simple and so I basically had to figure out which parent was at what table what seat number they were what seat their kid was at and what table their kid was at and I had to combine those two and I had to do that for every single little child um yeah i had to do that for every single child um so it just it took a lot of time to do that because i had to like look at them and be like okay hey, who was sitting there and the hard part was was they were all kind of just like moving around so it was really it was just like uh, i just i couldn't do it like oh my goodness but i figured it out eventually but it did take i think five a little bit over five minutes um and they were kind of they were pulling other servers aside being like we want our bill like we, we need to get out of here like they just like they wanted to leave they really wanted their bill and like i think all the servers were like hey yeah she's like figuring it out for you i'll go see like how much longer it's gonna be but yeah like i was literally going as fast as i possibly could me and this manager to get these bills out we finally got them out and i think they're a little bit mad that it took so long i was like oh my god and then the manager started to help me out with the payments so we could get through it faster and just the tips they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're the not tips. really fine so as a server i have to tip out six percent off of every bill so that means that if somebody has a bill that is a hundred dollars now say they give me zero dollars like they don't tip me say they just stiff me they don't give me a tip at all i still have to tip out that six percent to the kitchen and the bar like that that's they get those tips so it's a total of six percent off every bill so that means that's six dollars so basically i have to pay out of my pocket six dollars for that table to eat at the restaurant so i lost money on that table basically is what it so this party there's 16 people that's a lot of money that's a lot of food i tried my best like i tried my very very best with that service and like i i honestly there's nothing else i could have done like i i feel like I did the best that I could. While I had this party, I had two other tables as well. <laughs> and so I kind of felt bad for those tables. And like, I think they were super understanding. I went up to them and I was like, I'm so sorry. And they're like, no, like you're doing so good. Like, don't even worry about it. And I was like, thank you. Like they were super good about it. So, and I think they saw that I was just like running my little butt off. But yeah, back to the whole like payment thing. So me and the manager, we started taking all these payments. A couple of people paid in cash and then some people paid with like Visa. And so the people who paid with Interact, the tipping was... Okay. It was all right, you know? I, I, I didn't lose money on it, so that was okay. But then there was a couple people who paid with cash. Now, one of the payments was $79.80. She 
she gave me $80 cash. So basically, she tipped me 20 cents. Um, it's just like super disheartening to get that. And that wasn't the only one. There was another cash payment, and I don't think she tipped me either. And even the Interact tips, it was just like, it, I basically made, I probably like broke even. So I probably didn't lose money on the party, but I didn't make anything. And so like that was really, when I saw that and I was putting it into the computer, it was just like really hard, I guess, because I did work really hard and I did the best that I could. And I did keep a smile on my face and I was super nice to them, so that kind of sucked. I just, let me like restart that, but okay, so I got sad again. So the server comes up to me and she's like, are you okay? Like, do you want me to take that table? And I was like, I was like, yeah, like please. And I was like, thank you so much. And I was just like, I think I'm just gonna go to the back a bit. And I went to the front desk and I was like, hey, do you guys mind just keeping my section closed? Just five minutes, I just need to run to the back uh, real quick. I just need a quick break. And they're like, oh yeah, that's totally fine. And like there was open tables. So, and there was another server out there. So if they had to, like, I wasn't gonna be gone forever. I kept like, I knew, yeah, I was gonna be back. So it was all good. After that, I just, I literally went to the back and I just sat on a stool put my head down and I basically started crying. And I, I don't, I don't really cry ever. It takes a lot to get me to cry. I feel like I'm a pretty strong person, but it's just frustrating when you work so hard. And like, I take my job very seriously. I like to be good at what I do. And when you try so hard for something to go well and it just like, the results show that like it didn't, it's kind of like, a test or like school when you study really hard and it just like doesn't go well it's just like it just breaks your heart because you put so much effort in you tried so hard and there's no results for it and so I just I sat there and I just I had to put my head down I was like trying to like breathe deeply and just try and calm myself down because I was I'm pretty sure I was closing that night so like I just I needed to relax a bit so I just I had to like literally breathe got some water and it was just i don't know it was just really frustrating i just felt so disrespected i felt i don't know i just felt done it was just a lot and it was just a bad shift and i think you have good days and you have bad days and that was a bad day and like that's the thing i think was serving is just like good days bad days and you have to really hold on to those good days and just try to not dwell on those bad days because they those bad days they suck and like they make you question like if you can serve anymore like serving's a lot like it's it is not easy that's for sure so it's kind of my sad story yeah it was just a rough weekend and then i had a couple other things happen that i'm not gonna share on camera just because i don't think i just don't want to share that but it's just been a rough week we'll say that but you just kind of got to push through move on and hope that the weeks to come will be good i just want to share that with you guys i feel like there's a lot of people who can relate a lot of people who are servers and probably have just those people that come in that just don't get the whole tipping thing and the whole service thing but it happens honestly i have so many great people that i serve and that's what makes it worth it honestly are those people so yeah i just want to share that i don't know just something to share my two little stories i was gonna do that while i was doing my makeup but i just feel like i needed to be more focused and i needed food first because it was gonna take a while i think we're at like 20 minutes right now it's a long story but if you guys are still listening right now, thank you so much for sticking with me. It means so much to me. I'm trying to post every single Wednesday, especially during school, because it's just kind of nice to have a little schedule. Come up with a video once a week. I don't know what it's going to be, but something different all the time. Especially going into like Halloween and Christmas, they'll be more festive, which I'm so excited about. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for videos every single week, hopefully fingers crossed i'll try my best I still don't really have an outro at all so that's good all right you guys are the best thank you for watching and i will see you next wednesday Bye, guys.